Too many kids show up on the first day of kindergarten well behind their peers. Most will never catch up. Many times, it is the children furthest from the opportunity who have the least support. These are often kids from low-income families, tribal communities, those experiencing homelessness, and others. High-quality early learning is one of the best investments we can make to close the opportunity gap and set all of our children up for success. Children who attend high-quality early learning programs are better prepared socially, emotionally, and academically for kindergarten. Which sets them up for ongoing success. But there's a severe lack of affordable, high-quality early learning. A lack of early learning doesn't just impact children. When working parents can't afford childcare or end up on long waiting lists, it hurts their career opportunities and harms our economy. Even if a family can find childcare, it is frequently more expensive than a mortgage payment. Over the last few years, the legislature has been investing in increasing access to quality and expanding access to early learning. But the state still spends only a fraction on our littlest learners compared with the K-12 and higher education systems. House Democrats are continuing our work to improve the quality of early learning, while at the same time shifting our focus to ensuring that all families can have access to high-quality childcare. The Early Childhood Education Assistance Program, commonly called ECAP, provides low-income kids with free early learning childcare or at preschool and offers other services to children and their families so that the most at-risk kids get the supports they need. For the most part, the ECAP program is only available to families living at or just above the poverty line, which isn't nearly enough to afford childcare for two kids and keep food on the table. A bill I am sponsoring, House Bill 1351, will increase availability to the ECAP program to more families living at or near poverty. This still doesn't go far enough, but it will keep up with inflation so that the program continues to serve families most at risk. The Early Achievers Program is the way the state rates and helps improve the quality of childcare. From listening to early learning providers across the state, we developed House Bill 1391, which makes adjustments to early achievers so that providers will continue to serve kids from low-income families and are supported in their efforts to keep improving their level of quality. Nearly every working family needs access to high-quality childcare, but we know there's not enough space. Whether it's a childcare center, a preschool classroom, or a community setting, we need to ensure there's safe and adequate space for all who need it. That's why last year the legislature created the Early Learning Facilities Fund. There was such a high demand the first year, there were 115 applications, but the program was only able to fund 16 of those. This year, we are asking for additional funding to build more spaces for young children. We need to recognize the negative impacts of trauma on children. House Bill 1574 will ensure that children who are homeless or are from tribal communities who have experienced historical trauma are eligible for ECAP. The Working Connections Child Care Program allows working parents to receive a subsidy for child care so they can continue working. I am sponsoring House Bill 1303, which creates an exception to the work requirements for single parents who are full-time students at community, technical, or tribal colleges. Being a single parent who's trying to get an education is already like having multiple full-time jobs. Asking them to also complete work requirements pushes many of them to drop out of school. As a working mom with two young kids, I know firsthand how challenging it can be to find and afford childcare in today's economy. This isn't just a problem in Seattle. There are areas with no childcare openings in urban, suburban, and rural areas all across the state. Businesses all over struggle with hiring and retention because of the lack of childcare options. House Bill 1344 looks at ways to reform the childcare industry to increase the number of childcare providers, pay them enough to stay in the industry, and ensure that paying for childcare doesn't unduly burden families. Over the last few years, the legislature has made historic investments in the K-12 system. Because we know that a good education provides a path to opportunity. But kids who are behind when they start kindergarten may never get to the beginning of that path to opportunity in the first place. House Democrats will keep working to make sure that each and every each and every each and every each and every five-year-old who shows up on the first day of school is ready to succeed. <laughs>